Vim registers are behind the scenes of copying and pasting in Vim. Just like you're able to do in a word processing application, we can cut, copy, and paste some text. And we'll see that registers actually give us some capabilities beyond what we're used to uh, in a modern word editor. Whenever you change, delete, or yank text in Vim, the text that was under the operation, so if you said change to the end of a line or delete the next word, that text gets stored in a register. By default, there's a default register that your text is stored in. And once it's there, you can paste what you just deleted, changed, or yanked by pressing the P key to paste after the cursor or Shift P to, play, to paste before the cursor. Let's try this out. So I'm going to open a file named lyrics.txt. We'll see that we have just a file with some lyrics here. And let's say I deleted the word will, so D followed by W. And so that word is now gone. If I move my cursor to somewhere and I'd like to paste it just after that cursor, I can press the P key. And notice it's right back. I can press the P key multiple times. I'm going to undo that uh, paste by pressing the U key a few times. And this brings us back to where we started. Let's say that I wanted to delete the word survive. So I can DW one more time. And if I wanted to paste before the dash here, I would press the Shift P or capital P combination, and that will cause the insertion to happen right at the cursor and cause everything from the cursor uh, forward to move and shift after this paste. So just to demonstrate what happens if I was on this dash and pressed P, notice that survive is done before. I'm going to press U to undo that, and then Shift P, paste it correctly beforehand. There's one other thing we should talk about when it comes to the default register, because this is such a common thing that you'll want to do as you're editing code, which is if I delete an entire line by pressing, say, the DD key, that line is now gone. Now, if you press P after having deleted an entire line, it will paste that line after the line that you're currently on. But just like we saw before, if you press Shift P, it will paste on the line above. So the same mechanics apply, but when you work at a line level, it will paste relative to lines rather than right in uh, where your cursor is sitting in the current line that you're on. Named registers give us the ability to store text in a specific variable that we can then paste from that variable. So when you see the word register, you should think this is just a simple variable. And this is true in many other CLI applications as well we'll see that a register tends to be associated with a variable whose name is a single character. To address a register, we'll use the double quotes. So double quote A would be saying, I'm addressing register A, or double quote B, register B. The default register is the double quote repeated. And if we wanted to place some text into a register or store some text into a register, we first address the register. So let's say in the first example here, uh, I want to store some text in register A, followed by uh, yank to the end of the line. And this is going to copy text from where the cursor is to the end of the line and store that in register A. So let's take a look at using an, a named register. If I move my cursor to the top of the line and I uh, say address register A, so double quote A, and then I uh, delete D, three, W, so I delete three words. So notice I deleted those three words. Uh, now, if I, uh, once again, address register A, so double quote A, and then P, those three words are stored there. Even if I delete a full line, if I, once again, say double quote A, P, notice that the text that I stored in that specific register is there. Uh, and if I press P in my default register was still the last thing that I had actually deleted or changed, right? And so named registers allow you to, if there are certain snippets of code that you would like to be able to paste multiple times in the future, uh, allow you to store some text in a specific location. Right? I'm going to go ahead and undo and get us back to where we started from. This also works with changing text. So if I were to uh, say double quote, and then say the R register, uh, and I'm going to 
change with C and then dollar sign to the end of the line. Uh, and then let's say I deleted uh, the rest of this line. So double delete there. Uh, now, if I were to say double quote R and then P, notice the text that I had changed is still stored in that register. So when you change text, when you delete text, or you yank it, and you say, I want to store this in a specific register, uh, it stays there. You can use the colon reg or registers uh, command to see what are currently stored in your registers. And you'll notice that here is my register A that has I will survive, and here is my register R that had what I just uh, changed. And you'll notice that uh, in these number-based registers, there's some text that we had previously worked with, and I'll talk about those historical registers next. Whenever you delete text, that text gets stored in a stack of registers that uh, get pushed further down the longer ago you deleted them. So anytime you delete text, it goes into a historical register stack that we just saw uh, when we viewed our registers. And those, these registers have numbers one through nine. So one is going to be the most recently deleted text, followed by two, whatever you had deleted before it, and all the way through uh, nine. If you accidentally took out some text in your code some time before, and you wanted to uh, be able to paste a line that you, you didn't mean to delete, you can use the shorthand reg to see those and see, okay, which one was it I wanted to paste in? Well, let's say I will survive, which is my stored in my historical register four. Uh, if I wanted to paste that, uh, I can say double quote register four P and notice that I can pull that out of my historical register and paste it in without having to retype it. So as you're deleting text, if you accidentally delete some text that you wanted to get back, you can use one of these historical registers to help you out. The other thing that this can give you is the ability to have multiple clipboards without having to remember to store what you just deleted into a named register. So let's say there are two lines that you wanted to delete and to move somewhere else. You can delete them one at a time uh, and then paste one and then paste the other without needing to store both in specific registers. As I mentioned, you can view those registers with the registers command, uh, which is colon registers or colon reg.